let's put film in now. Hello gorgeous, I'm the Fairy Voice Mother and today I'm going to be reacting to Bol Who by Soch the Band featuring Hadia Hashmi for Nescafe Basement Season 5. Soch the Band, is that how you say it? Or is it Sock? We don't know. This has been a very popular request after I reacted to Chup to Luck. I don't know anything about this performance other than I'm pretty sure the musicians are from Pakistan. Some advice I received prior to making this video regarding this song, you have to wait for it. Whatever it is, it must be waited for. We shall see with glee. Nest Cafe Basement, Coke Studio. Why are all the Pakistani vocal performances sponsored by various beverages? I would love to know. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> technical perspective, ooh is a fabulous shape to create some beautiful height overtones. Ooh. The air can also whistle past the lips on the way out as well, creating an additional sound. Ooh. Another reason pro ooh, it creates a lovely spacious tilty resonating chamber for the larynx. It's got a warmer, richer sound. And from a slightly more spiritual perspective, any kind of awe shape with the lips is always a symbol of God in some way. A complete circle. An ooh or an awe sound is commonly used in mantras and chants. For example, the most famous one probably being Om. Whatever your perspective on religion might be, it's very nice to have unifying experiences and awe. It's just a symbol of that, really. There's already so many beautiful inflections by the lead due to his extremely agile larynx. Sometimes we hear the term vocal gymnastics to describe this kind of quality, and that is an extremely good analogy. A gymnast would need to train to be more flexible in their limbs. A vocalist must certainly train their laryngeal muscles to be able to move the larynx itself at such a high speed with precision. Sometimes he doesn't even go to different notes. He'll just slightly deviate the larynx position, which gives it that kind of little boppy sound. Oh, which is even more impressive because he doesn't get the stability always of changing notes. Sometimes he just kind of flicks off the ones he's on. The fusion of Western and Eastern instruments is just the greatest, most enriching thing. Ed Sheeran needs a sitar. Aw, oh, look at that beautiful happiness. <laughs> मन अपने की कर ले तू सब की सुनता जा आई फेल अलाव दी कंट्रास्ट फ्रॉम यू खाली खाली आँखों से सपने बुनता जा मन अपने की कर ले तू the diction and articulation is so precise. Everything, both plosive and fricative, is attacked with so much precision. A really cool feature I've noticed about this type of singing is that they often associate a d d d 
Dr. With a drop in the larynx. I believe this kind of ornamentation is known as a garmaka, but what it is anatomically is a slight pressure build up behind the tongue. Tongue weighs down on the larynx and pitch begins and then pitch ascends as the tongue and the larynx are released. Kind of like a little springboard. I've ever heard. I mean, like decades worth of study and practice, but manifested inside of a tiny, pure little angel human. There really isn't much explanation I can offer as to why this tiny child has been able to develop these skills so quickly, apart from an innate ability to exercise complete autonomy. She must be an extremely intelligent little girl to be able to musically use these melodies. She's bending minor sevens into sixes, fourths into minor thirds. The capacity she has for rich extended harmony is a Downing. I was having a coffee this morning in a pub nearby and at the same time there was this like baby singing class thing and it just struck me how like every nursery rhyme they sang was in C major. Here we go round the mulberry bush and see when see spider horsey horsey don't you stop. Could you not have just done like a minor version of one of them? In C when see spider climb the door spout. Okay, maybe not that, but just some extension, something, you know. But no, they will insist on making all the Western children learn major scales only. Major triads, that's all we get. If I am one day lucky enough to be blessed with a human baby of my own, there will be no Incy Wincy, and Humpty Dumpty will have his great fall. It's such an extraordinary, rare thing to behold. Like, this kind of vocal quality in particular can only be achieved by a child. The reason we get this brilliant, bright formant in her sound is because her vocal cords are just so teeny. But she's singing with her utmost power and fullness and strength. So the combination of that energy and that 
strength with the fragility of her delicate little vocal cords is magic. Usually it takes us a long time to develop this kind of strength and control and by that time our vocal cords have grown, they've got longer. So the sound is much more thick and darker but she somehow managed to fast track all the years of training that many other singers would require in enough time to produce sound with these tiny little kiddie vocal cords. She's also able to create a pretty dark formant as well. See how she drops her larynx, guides the chin down to put it in position. For picking it up, you see how she's tightened her cheeks a little bit to encourage that larynx to lift back into that neutral position. one of the best, if not the best thing I've ever seen. Just glorious. Let's look at the lyrics. The lyrics are just purely about union and connection with yourself particularly, but with the world around you and with obviously their depiction of it is God, but you can replace the word God for anything you like. However it is that you believe you're here, be connected to it, be grateful for it, enjoy the beautiful world around you. Paint yourself with colors within, Find a companion within. Make a small world for yourself. Be a wanderer in spiritual ecstasy. I don't know much about this culture at all, but after I watched Chapter Luck, I did a little bit of reading about Sufi and Kowali. I don't know how to say it. And it seemed to me that the core purpose of these ancient practices and traditions are to unite people with each other and then some kind of vein of spirit. Which is so special to me because I always maintain that singing is one of the most powerful ways to unite people in energy, with literal energy from the sound that you create from your own body and oh, it's just so joyful. Uniting people is one of the most important things we can do. We're just a few billion squishy blobs floating around in space. That can be quite scary when you think that you're a little squishy blob all on your own, but at least if you can find a way to connect to the other billions of squishy blobs, we just have a nicer time. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If there are any singers of any kind that you would like to see me react to, please do let me know in the comments as it is always my pleasure. I love you so, so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you again soon. Bye!